Speaking of chainsaws, I just showed you guys my Promac. Um, I'm going to show you my sharpening station. I put this together. Uh, I've got a Fordham. Um, single speed. Dremel type rotary tool. Now, this one actually has a, a drill chuck in it. And a key. It's just on my wire because I hang it from the stand that this hangs on. Um, as you can see, I've got a uh, stone in there, and this is 7 30 seconds. Um, but I get my stones from Dremel. Numbers 455 and 454. 454 the 316s, which is what my 14 and 16 inch Pico blades use. And then the 455, which is a 730 seconds, which, and that's what my larger 20 inch and up uh, bars use. So, there's that. Now you can use a Dremel too, and Dremel even sells an attachment that you screw onto the end of the Dremel that is a guide that helps you <coughs> um, maintain your angles and everything. Uh, I've been sharpening chains long enough, I just get in there and freehand it. So. Um, I'm going to kick this sucker on and let me go ahead and pull this over here. I've got a hodgepodge of wiring going on here obviously. I mean I've got a, a light so that I can see the work that I'm doing. I always mark before I start uh, the first tooth with a red marker and then that also tells me when I'm digging through chains if I'm pulling out a used chain or a new chain and I usually keep those separate anyway but uh, and I've just got a little uh, bench vise clamped on here um, with a 14 inch pico bar that allows me to sharpen my 20 inch chains all the way down to obviously my 14 inch chains so uh, I'm gonna climb in front of the camera here because I have a switch I need to turn on nope the switch is already on. Well, I'm going to show you what's going on here. I have a foot pedal on the ground. <clears throat> and the foot pedal, I'll go ahead and step on it here so you can see. Okay, now that's full speed. Well, then I have a feeder control box uh, that was given to me by a good friend and it uh, was not operational. You would plug it in, turn it on, and this did absolutely nothing. So I climbed into the box, turns out they had just pulled the rheostat off of the control and just went a direct plug in. So no big deal. Um, just put the wiring back the way that it was supposed to be and got it so that I've got my feed control capabilities. I don't need this thing to be spinning at 14,000 RPM when I'm sharpening my chains. So right now it's at 14,000. I'll step on my foot pedal. I'll show you. It's just, it's a sewing machine foot pedal. That's all it is. Okay, we'll go ahead and step on it. This thing's going full bore. So you heard the motor draw down and that's the way I like to sharpen my chains. I don't like to go full bore. I tend to eat my stones up quite a bit. So 14,000 I drop it down to uh, seven or 8,000 RPMs ballpark. And then I also, before I start sharpening a chain, I put uh, buffing rouge on my stones. And the reason that I do that, uh, it helps prolong their life. I've found that, with you know, and I saw that trick on uh, YouTube. So, uh, and I don't remember who it was that I saw that did that. But at any rate, you put rouge on there, and you get, you know, everything gets sharp, obviously. But the rouge helps keep from deteriorating your stone real, as fast. I guess I should say as fast. So, um, I guess that's really it. There, uh, there lies Zippo's chain sharpening station. 
Um, the only reason I guess I really wanted to show it is just uh, to give some of you guys some ideas on um, if you sharpen a lot of chains, ways to make up your own. And you can use uh, just a regular Dremel, you know, pan it up and show you guys the, uh, the hanger that's up here. Here's the hanger here, just a rod goes down into this base here. Just unscrew that and take that out. Um, but, uh, you know, if you don't have one of these Fordham monsters here, no biggie. Uh, a regular Dremel will do the job and it'll do it just fine, especially if you've got the wand to go with your Dremel. Um, you can get a drill chuck attachment for it, although the shanks on these bits are 1 8 inch, which is standard for Dremel. But, uh, you know, you've got your adjustable speed on your Dremels, and this keeps, and I'll show you, get this out of the way, that I've got free easy movement, and then when I need to sharpen the other side, I just take the chain off and turn it around, and then continue and go through and get the rest of it uh, sharpened. So, it works, and... Like I say, I hope this is something that somebody can use something off of. Uh, even if all you're doing is you know, a small bench vise that clamps to your workbench that is holding a bar. You know, maybe I gave you some ideas on instead of uh, busting out your file on using your Dremel to sharpen your tools. Um, but like I say, I sharpen a lot of chains. I've got four right here to sharpen, then I've got a few more that I've got to do. But as I was setting things up, I thought I'd go ahead and show you guys the video. Um, but, uh, yeah, I guess that pretty well sums it up. Where there's a will, there's a way, and necessity is the mother of invention. That's what's going on here. That's it. I'm done talking to you guys. That was kind of rude, wasn't it? This is Zippo later. I'm out.